just quantum dots. Quantum dots are these beautiful man-made nanoscale crystals that can transport electrons. This, all right. So, what are quantum dots? These are these man-made crystals that can transport electrons. So, if I supply electricity, then it can give out electrons. All right. Let us see where do I use this. So, uh, these artificial semiconductors have found applications in solar cells. Now, this is where the solar panel is coming. What am I using in solar cells? I am using quantum dots in making fluorescent biological labels. In, in vivo imaging. So, can I say in a layman term, in a layman term, if I want to highlight an area, if I want to highlight cancerous cell, if I want to label any area inside a body, all right. Next important material, quantum dot. Now, quantum dots are, quantum dots, now those were the carbon isotopes. So, they were natural. This is man-made. This is man-made, which on providing electricity, it, it has the ability to transport electrons and basically illuminate. It is used for illumination. So, for example, if this particular thing has quantum dot beads, quantum dot beads, ultraviolet light is turned off. The moment you turn on ultraviolet light or light, it starts illuminating. It starts illuminating. And this will help in identifying. For example, I want to identify cancerous cell for targeted drug delivery in cancer treatment. That if I want to make, let's say, targeted drug delivery, if I want to use it in the solar panel, if I want to do in vivo imaging and tracking, some sort of detection and analysis where I need specific highlighting. Chaliye, these are the different applications. These are the different applications of quantum dots. You can take snapshot of this. It can be used for communication in machine vision. You have these different sensors. You can see these days your machine starts. Has anyone used a car recently which has this jo rare view mein hota hai, which is uh, it provides whether you are close to collision etc. All of this also use quantum dots. All right. It is used in the AR, augmented reality. What is the difference between proximity sensor? Yes, I was looking for that word proximity sensor. Then it can be used in the camera for detection of different types of light in display scenes for absorption of an emission in different scientific experiments in solar concentrators. Most importantly, in solar panels. Then in different types of drug deliveries for bioimaging medicine, all of these areas have applications of quantum dots.